Okay guys, we have already discussed about the allopatric speciation in which we have seen uh, the gene flow is playing the major role as the driving force for the isolation for the first place. And also we have seen the geographical isolation or the physical isolation. Now let us talk about the parapatric speciation. Then we will be talking about sympatric later. Now let us talk about the parapatric one. Now in parapatric speciation, this is more, much more likely the allopatric speciation. So that's why I am discussing these two side by side to tell you exact difference between them. Now in allopatric, uh, then in parapatric speciation, what we are having, again we are having suppose a land is there. In this land, there are different regions. Now suppose there are certain uh, part, suppose this is the region where uh, few species, species A are there in this field. So lot of species A. So only members of species A is there. So all of them are members of species A successfully reproducing between themselves. Now what will happen if we put a driving force, a selection pressure to them, what will happen? For example, you start adding DDT which is a poison. Right? When we add DDT in higher amounts, it can act as poison for the trees. So when you put DDT onto that, it will soon kill most of the members of the species A, most of the members. But however, in some cases, certain species which are resistant to DDT start to arise, right? We have discussed about the natural selection and we have discussed about uh, the antibiotic resistant factor that how resistance of against certain chemicals can give a rise. Okay, so in this case also, due to natural selection and the driving force, so due to natural selection as a driving force, some of the members of this species A start to thrive and they start achieving some of the important features. They start achieving some of the important features they start to gain some of the important features. Now these features are giving them the advantage to go against DDT and survive in this situation which are designated by this red colored members. Now these new members give a rise and how? Due to the natural selection. So naturally they are selected to live onto the region due to the gaining of the DDT resistant particular DDT resistant trait. Now this type of species will start, this type of member start to be there. Okay, as the time will go on, they will start producing new traits, right? So they start achieving new traits. So as you can see, that's why we are giving them new colors. So they start gaining new traits. Now the members, now these members, which are having this red color thing here, now as they are getting new traits, they are getting separated from the previous one. They are getting separated from the members which are residing previously like these blue ones. So we know that after the kind of isolation, the kind of isolation can be done by a driving force. Now the driving force could be gene flow or natural selection. We have seen the driving force of gene flow in case of allopatric speciation. Now in this case what we are seeing, the natural selection is acting as a driving force. So it is acting as a driving force over the gene flow and it is selecting some of the members, some of the individuals among that particular species to be there for a longer period of time and as they are being for a longer period of time, they start achieving some of the important traits. Now as they achieve new traits, they cannot for cert certain time, what can happen? Now this is the new, new, new members and this was the old members. Now, due to the achievement of uh, this particular chemical uh, DTT resistant factor, they may no longer able to reproduce between themselves. So what we can tell them that they achieve a reproductive isolation. They achieve a reproductive isolation. Now in this case, reproductive isolation is achieved without being involved in the geographical separation. So note this down that it may not always require for two species or members of the species to be geographically isolated to get a reproductive isolated, uh, isolation. So these species or these members present in the same region but still presenting in the same region it can gain the reproductive isolation by simply 
due to the driving force of natural selection. Now in this case the natural selection provided by the DDT. Okay, so this is how new species can give a rise. Now if these two species as you can see they are reproductively isolated so they are not able to reproduce between themselves then we can tell that this new red colored A is totally different species than the blue colored species. So that's how new species can give a rise. Now in this case we call it the parapatric speciation and this parapatric speciation uh, natural selection plays more and more important role than the gene flow. But on the other hand, in case of allopatric speciation, gene flow plays the important role than the natural selection. So that is the difference between the allopatric speciation and parapatric speciation. And also, in case of allopatric speciation, we have seen uh, the speciation at the beginning, it starts with the geographical isolation and physical isolation. On the other hand, in this case, we haven't encountered any geographical isolation, but the species emerges due to the natural selection which is acting as a driving force. Okay, so that is the difference between allopatric and parapatric. So we have seen here the natural selection playing the major role. Okay, so I hope this video will help you to understand what is uh, parapatric speciation. In the future video, we will be talking about the sympatric speciation, which is completely different than uh, this allopatric and parapatric type. Okay, thank you.